Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we're joined by her. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> Julie Dunham from Qualitex. Hello, Hi. Julie. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well. Do you want me to hush you? <laughs> Don't you dare hush me. <laughs> if you didn't see the live back in <clears throat> November, um, yes, go and have a look at it because I, I shush her and she gets very upset about me shushing her. A girl should never be shushed. We had, we had That's true. We had mic problems and so we could only have one going at the same time and then I'd be talking <clears> and, and, and anyway. Just go back and have a look at it. I, I can't remember exactly where it is, but it was quite fun, wasn't but it? But the mic issues aren't there today, hopefully. The so mic issues should not be here because be we're not no, live today. So no shushing. Should be no shushing we'll whatsoever. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, how's life, the universe and everything? <laughs> the universe is doing really well, thanks. Yeah, okay. yeah, good. I'm not good. too bad either. All right, excellent. Good hmm. to hear. What have you been doing? I've been training. I've been doing lots of training. Um, okay. And I've been doing some more training. Have you? Some yeah. training, really? Training, yeah. Okay, that's kind of in your job description, though, isn't it? It is in my job description, you yeah. You do all the uh, training. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Anyway, good to know that you know some stuff, because that, that <laughs> always helps with this. So what, Julie, are we going to be doing today? So today, Craig, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be doing three different designs, starting from a, a basic one, which could be like your entry level, and then moving up to a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger. So you could have like bronze, gold and platinum. Oh, you're right bronze, order? silver, gold. Bronze, and then platinum. silver, gold. Oh, you have to start with silver, oh, yeah, gold, gold, platinum. Yeah, you forgot gold. Okay. It's quite important. Gold. Yeah, it could be gold, yes. yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, whichever. All right. You can have level one, level two, level three. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's better. I like a, that better. A, B, C. It's like, yeah, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, so the very first design, I'm going to go through the basics. So for somebody who hasn't done much balloons before, it'll help them learn how to build okay. the basis of what we're going to do in related designs. All right, okay. All right, so... So there is a chance I've seen this before, isn't there? <clears throat> you will have definitely seen So have I got fact, to pretend it's all new to me? <laughs> you could, or you could actually do it for me. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, all right, okay. So... I'm going to um, make a base to start with and I'm going to do a five, no, I'm going to do a four balloon cluster. Um, I'm going to start with cold, cold, gold, gold, chrome. Or chrome um, gold. And this... Is it gold chrome or chrome gold? Oh, it's gold and it's chrome. Okay, but it's really chrome matter, and it's gold, it? so it doesn't matter, does yeah, it? Okay. We both know what we're talking about. Now, this is a Not seven so inch. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. This is a seven inch um, balloon. So, the chrome balloons um, are the only ones that come in seven inch yep. Qualitex. And so, I'm going to do um, five pumps. So, when you're using your hand pump, you can, with the Qualitex one, you can size. So, each stroke that you give it, um, it puts an equal amount of air yep. into it. So, I'm going to do five pumps. <laughs> and then take the balloon off my hand, uh, off the pump, and then I'm going to give it a little twist so that I'm not going to lose the air mm -hmm. out in between. I'll pop it in between my fingers and then just rest it against the hand pump so that the air doesn't come out. And then I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Now, because these are um, seven-inch balloons, not five-inch balloons, five pumps still maintains a really nice round shape, yeah, so yeah, it's quite okay. nice. And I'm just going to tie them together. So I'm going to take one neck across the other, go around twice, keeping it really nice and tight and then just tie a knot because that getting a tight cluster these tight nice and tight together helps to keep your whole design yeah. strong so am i allowed to <coughs> take the mickey out of you for being northern today yeah of course i am okay so what does dunt mean <laughs> it means doesn't it doesn't that's right doesn't. okay just translate that did, did i say that i look i cannot change the way i talk no, I, i've it's been okay. doing it for many many years i'll, I'll correct you um, and, and you've done a lot of it i believe so <laughs> anyway come on carry on, carry on so i'm just gonna do the same thing again give it a little twist pop it between my fingers rest it against the pump <laughs> you're quite good at describing what you're doing anybody could think you I do it for Trainer, a living. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> and this bit is the, the, the most important. So if you're just tying it looser here, it's not going to hold properly. And that's the same for if you're using um, a cluster to put on, like to cover the neck of a bubble or anything like yeah. that. You need, the tighter it is, the, the better it'll hold. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to join these two together. I'm going to hold one that way, one that way. Join them together in the middle and then just cross them over once. And then that's absolutely fine so i've got a four balloon cluster there now <clears throat> i'm going to be doing this with um 
this balloon came out in last so maybe september october-ish okay. but it's really nice the colors work really well and there's a full range oh, of they are, um, nice, beautiful <clears throat> and the thing i like about qualitex balloons is in the qualitex latex that they all tie in together yeah, yeah. so like you can easily look at if you want everything to coordinate it nicely and um, if you look at a color on the balloon and then you can usually find um a nice one that coordinates look nicely that. with it it's perfect isn't it very clever okay so i'm going to do the same thing again but i'm going to do it a little bit smaller so i'm going to do just two pumps for this one okay. i'm going to now i automatically round the balloons when um when I'm inflating it, my hands just automatically go to do it, but you can do it, um, there was, you know, you can do it like that or yep. like that, but I tend to just do it. I think you just find your own way of doing Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But the roundness of it is quite important because that also helps them to, to sit tighter. If they're more of a teardrop shape um, and you're sitting them together on, on a cluster, you've got more of a gap yeah, there, yeah. so they won't sit as tight together. So, um, yeah. I don't know if you said, are these five inch? These are five inch, aren't they? <laughs> these are five Did inch. You say? No, I didn't say, no. I didn't say it. Look at me remembering what to do. I know, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you could think you'd done this before. Anybody would think I've done it before. <laughs> and then I'm just going to join them together again, half and round ones. Now, I'm going to attach um, this on top of there just to make a nice little base. But I'm going to, so I'm going to pull the necks up to make sure I've got something to attach with. Now, some people like to pull the balloons through so you can pull the mm -hmm. top layer underneath. I like to do it using this method because it means that you can do it, um, you can keep going up with it if you want to do. You've always got some more right. to work cool. with. So I'm gonna just press down gently on the center and then bring the neck of the bottom base up and then just go around doing a figure of eight and I, I like to do it with two balloons because if you're just relying on one um, and the neck goes then you, it's going to fall apart. you didn't apart. tie those so you just let them go. And yeah just like yeah because yep. okay. late latex clings to latex so it all bounces back and goes nice and tight. Yeah, yeah. Okay so that's the base. Actually I'm going to pop a little weight in there. Um, I've just got a little water weight here. Ideally I would have picked a green, uh, gold one. Okay nobody's going to see it. But it's fine. And I'm just going to wrap that in. Make sure it's in there. So with these sort of things, adding a weight, it's, <coughs> it's for stability, but it also makes it feel like a, it's a higher quality yeah, product. Yeah, it gives it, it, yeah, because if something's really like, you kind of think of it as being cheaper, don't you? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, you just need to be careful with these. So water weights will always go round. So if you make it a bit too big, it'll kind of like rock. Yeah. So it needs to sit nice and tightly in there. Okay. Um, also sand weights would be my preference too, as opposed to water, because sand can cause less damage um, if, it, if it breaks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I always would double stuff the weight anyway. I'd always put another balloon inside another so balloon. First sand, why have you got water? Because I didn't have any, you haven't got any sand here. Well, we probably have some then. Oh, it, yeah. Okay. All right, don't worry. <laughs> it's splitting hairs now. I know, I know. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to air inflate this. Now, when you, in, so foil balloons, they seal by, um, when, you, when you're putting air into the, the balloon, it's like a thin straw inside. Yeah, yeah. And the way that they stay either inflated or, or helium filled for a long time is that seal closing yeah, back up it's again. It's like a flat thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So when you put air through it, it opens up, then it seals again. So it's important that you don't damage it. So if I'd put this, I won't never put this on like a high pressure, um, inflator because it's more likely to damage that valve and then it's not going to stay. Yeah. Infl Although air will stay inflated for a lot longer than helium anyway, just naturally. And I would always kind of like inflate it in a downwards position preferably. And, and when I'm doing it, I move the hand pump as opposed to moving the balloon okay. just because it just protects that valve inside. The other thing you need to be careful of is not to over inflate it. So if you were helium filling this with um, an auto shut off valve, that just shuts off yeah, on its own. But if I'm doing it with a hand pump, um, it doesn't do that. So you don't want it to be too tight. If you're doing it with an electric inflator, the premium <clears throat> foil pro, that, that does the off. same sort of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant, that one. Yeah, I, I really yeah. like that. Okay, so you'll see you've still got your wrinkles there. Yep. You need to still have some wrinkles. Okay. 
So I'm going to get a Not a problem for me. Getting more and more. <laughs> in the way you've done, you've just been this week, haven't you, for your Botox? So you're all right for a few weeks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've been for my Botox. <laughs> There's no Botox here. <laughs> Give us a frown. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's no. not about that. All right, so um, when I'm using a 260Q to tie with, um, I'll take the air out of it. So I just pinch the end. And the reason I do this, sorry, is just because it makes it stronger, it makes it easier to work with, and it also stops you from getting air in it. Yeah. If you get air bubbles, it's likely to break. That's a and then. Pain in the backside. It is a pain, it uh, is. Air bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> so. A lot of people prefer to, to hold the balloon like this. So if you've got like a, a work surface or something, it makes it easier. So yep. if you can, you can support the balloon, it frees up both of your hands. So I just fold it over there like that, and then I'll just roll it and roll it as tight as I can. And then I just tie a little knot in it. It's actually easier with the 260Q than with ribbon because with ribbon, you've got to keep a hold of that because yeah, it'll bounce yeah. out, but this ties and clings back to itself. So it's nice and easy. Okay, so that's ready to add in then. So I'm just going to take the 260Q on either side and then just pull it through. And I just want to make sure that it's nice and tight where I want it to sit because if you don't pay attention to what you're doing and you pull it in there and then it's not in the right place, by the time you moved it back again, it's going to be a bit slack in yeah. there. So you want it to be in the right position to start with. And then just tie it. And I always try and cut any excess off. Very nice. So that's kind of like... So this is bronze. Okay, this is bronze. Are we going bronze, silver, gold? I think so. All right, okay. So this is bronze. Yeah, so it's a nice... Um, and the thing is, for all the other ones that we're going to do, you're just going to be stepping up and up yeah, and up yeah. with it. But if you're just starting out, just mastering this, master your clusters first. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just master that before you move on to the next thing. Because if yeah. you don't get that right, the rest is going to fall apart. It's not going to work properly. So this is a sort of very easy, very simple. You can either deliver that or if you've got a shop, yeah. you know, something you can do relatively quickly as well, I yeah. guess. So I know you were talking through it, but you could do it quicker than that if you were yeah, doing you a could. few of them or yeah. whatever. And if, okay. you're not, if you're not like talking to somebody all the time, it yeah. helps, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. All right, so that's number one. So bronze. 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 Or number one. Okay. Level we'll, one. We'll go for, no, let's go bronze, silver, gold. Right. It's just okay. going to get confusing. What next? We will go for silver, which Where is, is that bag that there, one. please. Okay. Oh. <coughs> all right, oh, this is bigger. This is bigger. The size of that. So, oh. Oh. thank you. So we're just sizing up on this one, really. Yeah. So we're going to increase the base from um, a four balloon cluster to a five balloon cluster because okay. it adds a bit more um, volume of space at the bottom, which is what you need for this. So if you'd put this on this space, it would look completely out of proportion. Yeah, okay. And that's probably one of the most important things when you're doing balloon art is because you need to keep everything in proportion because yeah. if it, or else it just doesn't flow properly. All right, so when you're doing a five balloon cluster, what you would do is, so these are seven inch, yep. um, crumb seven. So these are really good so you can flate them down from like three inches up to seven and they yeah. keep a nice shape. Um, so I've made two duplets. But then I've also inflated um, a, a single one and mm -hmm. tied it off. And then I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, a triplet. So I'm going to add this one into the um, duplet rather than adding the two duplets together and then tying that okay. in. Because what I want to do, you've got to make sure this one is really tight in this. So it's not, if you don't get it nice and tight, it'll stick out further than yeah, the others. And it'll look like it's kind of added yep. in. So I just go around nice and tight and then just tie those together like that. Okay. So that's my triplet. And then I can just add the other one in, just the same, just maybe wrap it around a couple of times more than you needed to do for the other. Now, when you're doing a... Um, so you just twist it in like you would a uh, two duplets? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Um, when you're doing a five balloon cluster, it's never going to sit down. The first time I was doing it, I was like, oh, it's not working. It's not sitting right. But it's never going to sit right because it, it needs the other one on yeah, top okay. of it um, to make the shape right. So these ones, um, these were inflated to um, eight inches. Mm -hmm. And these were inflated to, I think, six and a half, I think it was, it okay. didn't it? Okay, so you can see there you've got like a nice um, round shape. And this works particularly well when you're doing something round or, or with not. This is quite a fat foil, you know, it's not just, it's, it's not bigger and flat yeah. um, like a, a round would be. It's, it's a little bit more fat. So by making a five balloon cluster, it kind of like makes it sit nice. Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's more in shape okay. with it. Okay, so when you put your next one on top, so make sure you've got some necks pulled up ready. And then you can just sit your top cluster on top. You just need to put a little bit of pressure down on the centre mm -hmm. and then take your neck and do your figure of eight again. I lost that one. And again, it's, it's always good to do it with um, two. Multiple balloons? Yes, multiple. Okay. All right, so you can see already the base in comparison to that one. Although we've used exactly the same technique, it's a lot bigger. Very good. And then we'll use exactly the same method <coughs> to tie this in. I keep leaving where I put these. I should leave them on the desk, but then I'm frightened because you don't That's like messy. a mess. Yeah, don't, don't keep it messy. Do you want to do this for me? Come on, you're not contributing See, very much I, today. I can, I can do this, this flat thing, <clears throat> taking the air out. It just seems to go on forever though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And then just do that. And when that. you first pro. start, you are a pro at that. The first time you start doing it, if, <laughs> the first time you start doing it, um, if you, I think people forget that you've got to tie a knot in the end of it to keep the air out of it. Yeah. Um, and then it, it, it doesn't work. I don't think anybody forgets that. No, they do. Is that because you forgot it when you first did no, it? No, no. I bet you did. I bet you did. <laughs> But do you know what? I'm not, I've never been a natural, as you probably can tell, at, at balloons. So I've ever stopped. I'll say nothing. No, but it's good because, like. If you can do you, it, anybody can exactly. do it. Exactly. I know, I You've, know. I've got, I've had to work harder to Apart from me. get it. Well, I think, you know, you just pretend you can't I do don't stuff pretend. and you actually can. I've, I've tried stuff off camera, I just can't do it. It's like dancing, can't do it. Depending on how much I've had to drink. <laughs> And then I do it, but it doesn't look like dancing. It doesn't matter if you if you're enjoying dancing. It doesn't matter what you look like, or it doesn't matter what you look like. Yes, it doesn't was that, matter. Was that does better? It? That was far better. Greg, I nearly called you Gregory. Then is Gregory actually a full name, or yeah. is is it? It's only my dad that calls me Gregory. Does it? I'm yeah. gonna. Does it? Do you like Gregory? Yeah, I don't mind it. Oh, I was gonna call it you then, but if you don't, if you're not bothered about it, I'm if, if you get my middle name you're... in there as well, then what's ooh, your middle name? I'm not telling you. Tell me. No, I'm not telling you. You got to tell me. No, it's Margarita. He's <laughs> not Margarita. <laughs> Gregory Margarita Brown. <laughs> Let's go with that. Let's go with that. That's quite nice, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Margarita. Used to be a cocktail I, bartender many I years ago. So. I don't mind her. Margarita myself. <laughs> so what's your middle name? Have you got a middle name? No. I, I've got... No, I haven't. I've got... You don't seem too sure. <clears throat> no, well, I kind of have. I've got a confirmation name. All oh, right. But I don't... I don't. That doesn't really count. It, does it? Oh, no. What is it? Anyway? It's Anne. Anne. Julianne. Julianne. I don't know that. No. Don't you know that song? Know that. You do. You're just having me on. I don't. It's obviously before my time. <laughs> you do know. I don't. That we, you, Who sings no, it? No, I was going to say, you do know because you're the same age as me. I am not the same you age as you. I'm at least me. five years younger than you. <laughs> You've had a hard life then. No, younger than you. Oh, yeah, I see. That's not very nice. <laughs> I know. Anyway, nobody can see you now. That's all right. We'll put it there. Like okay. That's it. <laughs> so. Nobody can see me. <laughs> I forget we're actually doing this for people sometimes. I know. <laughs> Come on. So this is your next step up. So if you've got them like this, this is your entry level. This is would be your, this is bronze. This is silver. This is silver, but it's using exactly the same technique as for So if you can do this and do it well, you'll be able to do this. Okay. Yeah? All right. Okay. Very good. Right. We'll put that over here. So the next one, gold. Is it this one? <clears throat> Yeah, so this is going to be adding quite 
a little bit it's not the same mardy. Balloon. It's the same balloon. Yeah, because I'm trying to show a, a, how you can upgrade it. Have you got a base ready already for this one? Yes, yeah. Oh, fancy. Now, this is in order, so I need this in order because it will complicate me. It will what, sorry? It will complicate. It will complicate. That's not proper English, is it? No, that's not English at all. Is that Northern? It will confuse me. Confuse you, there you go. Okay. You need to pump that up and a bit. You've not pumped right. it up I've enough. got, no, I'm going to demonstrate that. I've got another one anyway. That was my spare. All right. Just leave so, it. I've leave got it? another one. I like these. I like them. They're nice, aren't they? Anyway. But I don't need that yet. It's going to get right. in my way. Let's put it down. Okay, here. so. Stay. We're going to do, this is called an alternate square pack base. Oh, oh, you've messed it up. They're different sizes. No, though. I haven't. Now, normally oh. I would do them all the same, but because we're going to be fitting quite a lot onto this deck, I don't want to make it a really massive one. So it's going to sit a little bit at a jaunty angle. It's not going to necessarily be dead bang straight on. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do this with Dacron line. I wait to be impressed. <laughs> These are all the same size, aren't they? They are, yeah. So what size are these? These are three and a half. Three and a half inches. Those ones? The uh, eight. And those ones? And No, eight and okay. six and a half. All right. You do, you're testing me, aren't you? Because you don't think I, I know. I am. I, I know you know. Right, okay. So to do this, so this has been made in exactly the same way, although these two um, are a different size, exactly the same technique. Now I'm going to... So what, did you attach a gold to a green or did you attach no, the two greens? I did two golds together and then attached two, two greens together, together okay. yeah. Okay, so my Dacron line, I've pulled it up from underneath. Now the reason I use Dacron line is because it doesn't give... It doesn't stretch. Yeah, so um, quite a lot of people use nylon line, but yep. that as a gift, it stretches. Yeah. So you don't want your design to go baggy. You don't. All right, so I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to tie a permanent knot. So I'm going to go through the loop once, through the loop twice, and then pull. So that's my first one. And then I'm going to add this. This is remembering which bit goes where now. I think the gold must go to gold, wouldn't it? OK. All right, so I'm going to add these two together. So I'm going to just press down on the centre. So the same method really is attaching with the next, but I'm yeah. doing it with um, Dacron line. So I'm going to go around in a figure of eight. Do you want me to grab something? Yes, can I have the um, green and the blue? Oh, oh, oh <coughs> no, it's coming apart. There you go. Thank you. Right, so the way I'm doing this is, this is going to be at the top and this is going to be at the bottom. I see. So I want to do them so it kind of like does like a a zigzaggy type thing. Okay. So my green's going to go there. That's right. Yeah. All right. Very good. So I'm do a figure of eight. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. Right. So I want and this one. Yes, please. Thank you. I need to stand this up so I can work out where I'm going. Right, so blue obviously is in the opposite direction. Thank you. I think I might need to put this on the stool. I'm too short. <clears throat> Thank you. So purple goes opposite to the last one. <laughs> I've, pulled, I've made the dark on a little bit too long. <laughs> okay. So in theory, I just need to straighten it all out a little bit. Very nice. Yeah, that's worked, hasn't it? So this is going to be in the bottom. That's the, that top. the top. That's, top. that's okay. the top. Very good. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Never seen that before. That's very good. Yeah. I've never done it before until I was just practicing earlier. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to finish this off. So do just take your Dacron underneath one of your balloons, pull it through, 
I'm going to cut that off because it's too, just too much. No good with sizes. And then I'm going to go through it twice, through the loop twice, once, twice, and that's it. You're going to snip that off? I am going to snip it Sound off. Stuff. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's my base. Yeah. Um, and what I will do, actually, I'm going to You're going to put the big balloon on that? I am, but I'm just going to cover these ends first. Okay. So where your mechanics are showing at the I'll end. I'll just stand there with a the big balloon. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be there in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to go purple at that side, I think. And go, no, I think I need to go pink, don't I? And then gold at that side. Because then it ties it off, doesn't it, with the end too. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll be home for your dinner? <laughs> no, but I'll be home for tea. All right. Okay. <laughs> it is. It, it is a northern thing, and you should know as well. You should know better being uh, from the course, north. Uh, of course, of course, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm um, taking the Mickey. So, do, do I you, can only do it if, because I'm, I'm northern. Did you used to say dinner and tea? Ah. Uh, I, I can't remember. I think it was always going in for tea, yeah. 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 But I'm a southern now. I, I know. You keep claiming that you're not, that you're a northerner, really, um, but you're not. You've converted southerner. There's nothing wrong with the southern. No, there is. With the southern, with the south. <laughs> it's all right. And nothing wrong with being southern either, all of you southerners. <laughs> yeah, and you correct my English. And your English is particularly bad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Northern or not. <laughs> I'm not gonna change now. You invent words. I can't be, I can't talk like properly. You, you can? Yeah, sometimes. You know like You can talk proper can when you? I put my telephone voice on. Oh, you got a telephone voice? Oh yeah. Go on, answer the phone. Ring 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 ring. I'm calling you. Good afternoon. This is Julie Dunham from Pioneer Europe. How can I help you? Oh very good. You do sound posh. Yeah, I do. Told you. And then then if I know I'm a girl, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Roll the neck. So you don't know my number. So when I call you from my number, you want to know who it is. No. So you'd be very polite. I would actually, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, okay. Hello, Julie Dunham speaking. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'll just hang up on you. <laughs> then I'll block you. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. Right, okay, let's see which side we're going to go at. Let's go this side. Oh, good choice. Shall we move the stool out of the way? Yeah. So I'm just going to pull this in using my 260 cues. Just pull it down and wrap it in. What are we doing with these? We're, we're going to sticky tape them. We are, but don't yet. Do you want me to tie the next sticky tape the next Yeah, one? that's a good idea. Well, we need to show it as well, don't we? We need to show the technique. Oh, there, there it is. Get, let me get, oh, here's You some. can do some, because I'm, I'm going to show some, I'm getting some prepared. Okay. Got my scissors. It is almost like I know what I'm doing. Well, nobody can see what I'm doing. Just... Right, let's just pop this down, because what I'm going right, to do... All right, good idea. I'm going to do a little gumball to go on here with it. Using a deco bubble. So everybody, this is what you do. You, you, you get this and then you, you put that on there. This you get is, this? What's this? This is a balloon bond okay. made by Click Click, available at Balloon Market. Excellent. And you squeeze it on. It needs a bit of heat. That's all you got to why, do. What, why? Why does it need a bit of heat? Because otherwise it doesn't stick well enough. So okay. if, it's, if it's really, really cold, sometimes it doesn't stick as well. Okay. So you just, just rub it a little Excellent. bit. Excellent. And it, and it does that. And then you do that on the, the part where the hole is, at least I do. Oh, no, I've done it wrong, haven't I? You've done it on the wrong side. Well, does it really? Yeah, it does uh, matter. It does, it I matter. Don't want the so I've done it on the wrong showing. side intentionally so that the barcode. <laughs> so I've, I'm just ignore what that I've done there. And then you do it on the other side. Like that. Did it's you just, want that? Oh, no, my hands are stuck on it. <laughs> and you do that. And then you peel it off. And it goes back. But what we have here now is a sticky bit that we can use to just 
pop it on there. We could if we were going to stick it that way on. Okay. It's we're not, fine. We're, it's fine. We'll it's pretend fine. It's, it's not there. Are you going to do something like that then? Yeah, but not yet. I'm going to do a gumball thing. Or should I speak your language? Are you going to do summer with that? <laughs> Have I used? Hmm. All right, I'll do these other two. Okay. Right, I need to get some balloons. Right, so... This is um, a 20 inch deco bubble. So deco bubbles, the plain clear ones come in 20 inch and 24 inch. So I'm gonna add this in because I don't want it to be too big. I don't want it to come out the same sort of size as the, the foil balloon. I want it to be like a bit smaller. Do you remember that time you opened a deco bubble? No, in? stop it. There was no, no deco bubble in it. That was really funny. No, it wasn't On funny. On the first live that you did. <laughs> oh, we laughed. You laughed. Yeah. Sorry, laughed, yeah. I yeah. say laugh, I don't good. say laugh. Good, because laugh it's is just, you know, harsh. There's two, so, two southern lines. It's a bit like Carly tea dinner. Okay, so deco bubbles, for those that don't already know. Who doesn't know deco bubbles? Well, people who are just starting out might not All know, right, so true, it's important true. to just talk about it. True that. So they don't have a valve in them, so. Have you got a bin? There are yeah, it's just there. There are a couple of things that you can um, that make them different. So it means that you can put other things inside them, um, but it also means that you've got to tie them off as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of air inside, just to make some space inside the bubble, like that. And then actually, I need a gold as well. Oh, if I use my oh, there it is. I thought I was organised. Now I need my stick. Okay. All right. So to get them in, I'm going to pop the um, balloon on the end of my... Special balloon stick. Yes. Which Available is... from any Chinese restaurant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is a chopstick, but chopsticks Can are you good. you use chopsticks? I've never tried to be You've fair. never tried no. chopsticks? Oh, it's brilliant. The more drunk you get, the easier it is. Oh, yeah. I probably yeah. have to be drunk. Although I don't drink. All right. What was it? Vodka, lime and lemonade? <laughs> Just a dash of lime. Uh, yeah. Okay, right. So the important thing about this, you need to get the neck out of the deco bubble out of the way. So push your finger and thumb right up and get it out of the way. And then you can tie the knot and then push that knot into the balloon. If you don't push the knot into the balloon, if you just pull like that, you get that awful like nipply look and it's not, it's not good. Nobody it likes doesn't a look nice. Look on <laughs> they don't, it's not attractive. It's not. <laughs> and I'm also going to cut the necks off this. Now, um, some people prefer to leave the necks on and some people prefer to take them off, but um, it depends on what I'm using it for and if the neck looks nice in the design. But this, I'm going to whip it off. Whip Very it good. off. So I'm going to put all these in. I know it's probably going to be a bit boring, so you might need to talk. I, I, I you might need to say something interesting about something. I don't know what to say. Shall we talk about deco bubbles and, and that? I mean, we could talk about deco bubbles and how versatile they are yeah, they and how are. many people built their businesses on the back of deco bubbles alone. Yeah, Especially definitely. People were, a few years ago, people were putting lots of feathers in and confetti and still are. What else can you put in a deco bubble? You can put paint in them. Put paints, yes. We did a BMTV on that one yeah. time years ago. You can put gilding flakes. Okay. Are they gilding the, flakes are they the are gold pretty. flakes that we sell? Yeah. The ones that get everywhere. Yeah. Gilding flakes, yeah. Um, feathers, you've said feathers, haven't you? Feathers and confetti are the big ones. Yeah, they are. Is there anything really that's not going to damage the balloon and yeah. that you can get in. You've got to be careful sometimes with metallic confetti because if you put that in and then inflate it or put helium in, it can make the metallic confetti fly around and yeah. cut the balloon. You've got to be careful. You do have to be careful. You have to be very careful. And a lot of it is trial and error and working out what's going to work and what's not going to work. Yeah. You should, it's, it's, it's good to like watch things on YouTube and... and Things like that, but you learn the most when you actually practice yourself or go Absolutely. on like face to face courses. Yeah. And um, that's when you, you really get to learn. And it's good because when you make mistakes, then you, um, there's people there to help you work it's good, out. It's good to practice as well. So, 
Yeah, um, it is. It's not a waste of balloons. Some people think it's a waste of balloons if they're not sold it. So yeah, the only practice no, is not. when they sell something. But it's not, it's an investment in you. Yeah, of course it is. And it also gives you photographs. So you, you create something because you're playing. Yeah. It gives you photographs and you can um, put those on your Instagram. Instant gram. Instant gram. Or Tiki Toki. Tiki. videos on Tiki Toki. Do you want Tiki Toki? I don't. Yeah, I have got it because people keep sending me things on it to look at it, but I've never actually done anything on TikTok oh, or Tiki Toki. Tiki Toki. It's quite good. It's very addictive. By the time this goes out, I might be a pro on it now, am I? You might I? be a TikTok pro. Yeah. There we go. It almost looks quite nice like that, doesn't it? It does, actually. But we're not going to leave it like that. Shall I? No. I'm not. No, definitely no. No, because we need to get rid of these wrinkles. So when you're inflating deco bubbles, well, all bubbles, you've got to make sure that you get rid of, inflate it to get rid of the wrinkles Indeed. on the steam. Um, a lot of people that um, are new to using bubbles, they tend to leave the wrinkles in the seam because it's like a foil, they think that's it fully inflated. Yeah. But it needs to be kind of like a smarty sort of shape. I'll keep going. Well, that balloon was getting in my way, so I just had was to it? fall right. back a bit. So you're just watching the crease there, and you want all That's of it? the seam. You want all the yeah. creases to go away from the seam. Yeah. If it's a printed bubble, um, well, all of them, you've not got to be frightened of inflating them to get rid of the creases in the seam. But you don't want to over inflate. Oh, so I didn't say what I'm doing here. I was Let just going to point that out, but I couldn't it's get a word I'm in, talking. could I? So, uh, so I'm to tie this off. So you just twisted it. I give it a we good saw twist. You twist it. Yeah. And then I put um, the 260Q yeah. underneath my thumb, pull it taut. Now it's really important to keep it pull it taut. Yeah. And then just go around your balloon. It's really easy with a 20 inch, just flinging it around. Yeah, 24 inch just sort of hits you on the chin, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does a bit. Okay, so it needs to be nice and tight like that. Yep. And then you can just tie. Now, some people plug it, don't they, when they're doing these? Yep. So they'll use the last... The um, last balloon to, to yeah. plug it, yeah. It's quite a good technique. Yeah, it is. I don't like it. All right, you don't have to like it. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm gonna, I was going to then, me. I was going to then tell you the reason why I don't why like do it. Why do you not like it, Julie? Because the balloons all sit in there freely and they lay random, whereas if you've got one plug in it, it that one is just like but a nobody static nobody knows, one. do they? Because then it could just be, it's happened, happened to sit there. Yeah, I but don't anyway. know, I don't like it. Oh. But, but that's, but, but it's personal preference and it that's is. what's important. It is, absolutely. Come on, what else? Let's go. Are you getting agitated with me? Come on. Why are you getting agitated? Just hurry up. Let's do this. Do you need your chopstick anymore? I don't need my chopstick. No, no. Need your chopstick out of the way. All right. So I'm going to pull this through using my two six. Everybody's got to see it. Everybody's got to see it. Oh, Very nice. I'm going to trim that off. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so it does. So that in itself could be okay. That could it, be gold. It could. And Let's what go platinum. Could, that could be gold, but I aren't ready to finish it. I know, so the next bit's platinum. So we've got Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so that'd be gold. We've got silver. Yeah. We've got, I'm still here, everybody. We've got gold, <laughs> and now we're going to make this gold into platinum. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Now, what I would do as well to make this, to sit it, to make it sit well, is I would make these end ones like a weight, so I would okay. either put sand or water in them, or in one of the, the, the clusters in the middle as well. Very nice. Okay. So we need to work out what we want to do now. Where's the balloons? Here, yeah, yeah, these ones. All right, let me do this North Star one. So I've, here's another one I have here. Yeah. We're going to put this on. So these are um, jelly numbers. These are really nice and the colours tie in really, really well to these. So they do come with like a straw inside that you can use to inflate. But you've got an inflator, so you don't need to use No, that. I would only use, no, it's because it's the pickup line, isn't it? So for your customers, they can pick them up and take them away and inflate them. True. Um, 
but I would always use a, a hand pump instead. you just got to be careful, you don't go just too much. I've got enough, I think. Right, do you want to... Oh, um... do you want me to sticky that? Yes, please. Oh no, what did I do with the sticky bit? Here it is. Got a sticky bit. Look at me getting involved. No, I'm it's impressed. Quite, quite excited. It's making me feel unnerved. All right, there you go. Right, okay, thank you. Oh, All right. Did, did that so well. So modest. Right, so the first one I'm going to use, where's that little parsley one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that here yeah, like I don't think, that. I don't think okay. I'm visible here at all. Hi, everybody. That's not a bad thing, necessarily. Oh, that's not very nice. Ooh, so that's going to go in there like this. So do you want to stick it on, Greg? No, I've I don't want to stick it on. No, no way I'm going to stick it on, not after last time. <laughs> you can choose. <coughs> I've got some, there's some here already. Oh, that's not enough. enough. All right. But there's a one piece there. Okay, thank you. All right, so I just need to work out where you want it to be positioned. Right there. There. Good, good. good. I'll put another piece on it, are you? I'm going to need to work out where I want it to go. I'd Maybe say it up here. on top, yeah, yeah. Are you like a professional now, aren't you? You think you can tell me what to do? I can't. I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. Well, I wouldn't do it like that. <laughs> I don't know whether it needs to go on that bit. Or there, maybe there, I think. I think that's the better spot. Now, I think we might do double on this. Shall we do double? I don't know what that means. So double, so when you can, you can stick it, if, if it's struggling, like if you're in a colder environment particularly as well, um, you can stick it on one on both pieces. Oh, so if you stick it on there and stick it on there. Now on the latex, it'll be absolutely fine. It'll adhere to really, really quickly. But this bit might not as quickly. I'll so. be fine. Okay then. Right, well, we're going to do it. And That'd if it good. falls off... Then we've got an example of how it wasn't fine. Okay. I laugh my socks off. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. See, it's fine. Okay. Told you. Right, so the next one. Nobody likes the smart Alec, you know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. Right, this way or this way? Oh, the first way. This way? No, not no, that this way. way. No, not that way. Well, not I want to put this one on as well, though. <sighs> Sorry, Carrie. You're so rude to me nowadays. Like this, and then that there. Oh, lovely. Yeah? I feel like you're humouring me. I am, yeah. Is it because you want to be involved? No. You do, don't you? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm not going to stick anything on it. I need to cut all, these tabs off, I think. I'll put some scissors. Yeah. I've got some. Thank you. No, that's all right. I'm always a bit worried doing this. I've gone too far. No, no. That could be very bad. But if you don't need them, it's good to get rid of them. Absolutely. Because it stops it, spoils the line, doesn't it? Does. I think it's got stuck in there. Right, okay, let's do this now. My voice is going deeper as the day's going on, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? Oh, stop it! You're... It's not funny anymore. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm going to find some like, one of your things and type the look out at you. All right. All right. I don't think you give other people as much abuse as you give me. I know, but nobody else qualifies for it. <laughs> Come on, just do it. Stop, I'm stop doing chatting. It. Come on. You can't look. Stop rushing me. I don't like you. I don't like this. I don't like it when you rush me. Look, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. 
I can't see where my tape is now. Oh, there it is. Right, can you squeeze that? Like this? Hang on. Ah. Where is it? There it is. Squeeze it to it. There you go. I wouldn't have done it like that. Well, maybe you'd better do it next no, time. No, it's all right. Do you reckon we can get away with that one up there as well? Yeah. I think that's nice to you. Maybe we should bring it down and do it so I can actually all see right. what I'm okay. doing. That all might right. be helpful. And then people can... Oh, that's come off. Oh, Julie. So, what did you get for Christmas? Nothing. You didn't get anything for Christmas? Nah. That's a bit of a bit. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Is it because you're rude to everybody? <laughs> <laughs> there. Was that it? I can't see. You need to have a look. That's, that... Hold on, I'll just go around here. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Beautiful. What did you get for Christmas? I got a camera. Did you? Yeah. What kind of camera? I got a Canon. Okay, what have you got a camera for? Because I'm interested in photography. You know you got one on your phone? Yeah. Are you good at it? Do you understand all the... No, but I'm learning. F-stops and stuff. I don't understand. F-stops, is, is, is that a thing? Is that a... Yeah, Alex is saying is it? Is it an F-stop, yeah. I Anybody knows what an F-stop is? Just leave is. your comments down below. I went to... Um... Should make that a question of the week. What's an F-stop? <laughs> My sons are into photography and videography, and and I do, and I like it, but I've never really. Um, You've got a family YouTube channel. Yeah, we could have, couldn't we? We could, yeah. I um, yeah, I really want to do it. So they've all they all chipped in for me. My sons and that. Nice Get me nice. a camera. That's nice, isn't it? Nice. Is it a DSLR? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know, do you? I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, all right. I think it's mirrorless as well. Oh, like I know what that means. Other than it doesn't have. Don't a you know? I see. There you go. What's the benefit of a mirrorless camera over a mirrored camera? I don't know. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. I have no idea. I just know that it's more of a newer thing. I think. Yeah. All there. Right. Very good. How's that? Oh, so it's not stuck. Oh, let me get a bit more around. Is it because it's cold here? It could be. Yeah. Yes. It's but fine. It's fine. Okay, all right. So there you go. So that is platinum. Should That's we put platinum. platinum up here? Yeah. Oh. There you go. That's nice, isn't it? And then we've got another one, but you could add that on somewhere if you wanted to, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. And then can I just show this as well, just quickly? All right. I'm so going to put this. I'm going to put this down. Okay. Here. So this is just like a little mini one as well. So it just shows you that what you can do with your um, little air filled ones. It so that's bronze. Little... What's this? Oh my it's god, this like is going to get really confusing. Isn't so pre bronze or paper, bronze. I don't know why paper. But bronze, silver, gold, platinum, paper. Anyway, paper. It's very good. Yeah, so yeah. the same technique, exactly the same thing. Yeah. Julie, thank you very much. It's over. It's over. Um, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody oh. the question of the week. Now, oh, we've not thought of one, have you? <laughs> What's your oh, question of the week? I know what the question of the week is. Right, just... It's about cameras. Cameras. <laughs> Does anybody know what the difference between a mirrorless camera and a mirrored camera is, please? Or what's an f-stop? So two yeah. questions of the week. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you very much for that. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. And check us out on Instagram as well. Stay happy, stay positive, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye. Bye.